Madam Speaker, I'm informed that the total amount of 119 million 588,739 rupees has been disbursed under the Overseas Treatment Scheme from January 2015 to date. As I stated during the Committee of Supply, I do not think it's fair to publish the name of patients who have been benefited from the Overseas Treatment Scheme. To reply to this question will entail revealing the public details of the state of health of the wife of a member of the House. However, since we are dealing with public funds relating precisely to a member of the House, and in order to put a stop to the re re regrettable campaign on a person who nearly lost her life at a very young age, I shall reveal the following details. Mrs. K.G.R., wife of Honorable Ratna, was brought to SSR and hospitals suffering from severe neurological problem, for which treatment is not available in Mauritius. She had to follow treatment in India. I would like to inform the House that my ministry did not grant any amount of money to patient Mrs. KGR for her treatment overseas. Not even a single cent. All payments for the patient, medical expenses, air ticket for the accompanying doctor as well, the stretcher fee, oxygen facilities have been borne by the pair patient relatives. Madam, Madam, uh, Madam, Madam Speaker, my question was about whether public funds has been used for someone which is eligible or not to benefit from uh, the system because there are a clear set of criteria. It was not about uh, uh, personal, I, I didn't enter into a disease. Okay. Please sit down. Honorable Amiamia, please sit down. No, your question, really in, you said in your question, it was specific, indicating if one Mrs. KJR benefited from funds. You asked whether she benefited from funds. And the question is that she did not benefit from funds. So don't. I am not suffering for her. I didn't ask details. My question is. My question is. My question is, uh, to my information, uh, there is one doctor, I will tell the initial, UDM, on 28 July, accompanied uh, the patient, and the doctor is a rheumatologist at Candace Hospital, which is my uh, information. So how come that a doctor in the public service accompanied the patient, and the doctor is being paid out of public funds. And how come that this doctor, I give you the precise name and the date outside, has accompanied the patient without funds being used? Firstly, firstly, I would like to mention that it's not the first time that a doctor from the public service accompany a patient overseas. For your information, I. Can I answer, please? For your information, when I was in service, I accompanied a patient overseas as well. That's number one. So we do that. We do that. Number one, let me, let me finish, please. Please, let me finish, Madam Speaker. Can I finish? And secondly, this doctor was not paid by government. Yeah. He took his leave to go overseas. He was not paid by the government. Thank you. Next question. Five, four, zero. Order, please. Yes, Honorable Sinatambu. Yes, Honorable Sinatambu. Yes. Madam Speaker, it is deplorable that, in addition to the unfounded allegations from a section of the press, shocking insinuations, unsubstantiated and false allegations have been made by some members of the opposition since May of this year 
against the wife of a member of the government. On this side of the House, we find it despicable that part of the opposition has played cheap politics on the beleaguered wife of a member of the National Assembly. Madam Speaker, I am informed that no application has been received in the name of Mrs. Kivisha Gouda Ratna for any assistance under the Overseas Treatment Scheme of the National Solidarity Fund or of any other fund under the aegis of my ministry in 2015 or at any other time. I therefore hope that the shameful and founded attacks and insinuations against the wife of Honorable Ratna will stop once and for all. I am also informed, Madam Speaker, that Mrs. Ratna has not benefited from any funding under any fund falling under the aegis of my ministry to meet the cost of overseas treatment in 2015 or at any other time. And I do hope that all this stops.